Yes. Now let us create the second part of a screw jack assembly that is called as nut. Now here you can see this is the front sectional right half sectional front view. Now here let us not consider the sectional front view. Let us create a solid component because whatever the hole we are going to create here this hole is a threaded hole. For that we have to create a solid component for the given dimension. Let us go for solid edge then the solid part. Then let us go for once again called reverb protrusion only. Then select the same sketching plane as front plane. Now make use of a line command. Let us create the drawing as it was there in the sketch. Now this is an approximate drawing which was there in our sketch. Now once we complete the sketch, let us go for dimension. Let us start giving the dimension. This dimension will be 25 and this dimension will be 10 mm. This dimension will be 10 mm. Similarly, this dimension will be 10 mm. The total dimension will be automatically 45 mm. Now, the diameter is given as 25 mm here. Then, the diameter of this point to this point is given as 45 mm. That is, the diameter is 90 mm. Let us make use of 45 mm radius, 25 mm radius. Then let us make use of a command called axis of revolution. Let us select the center plane that is datum plane itself as the axis of revolution. Then let me say return. After saying return we have a command called revolve 360. Let me click on the revolve 360 then say finish. Now this completes the base component after which we have to go for a command called round. Then edge or corner. In the edge or corner we have to select the three edges 1, 2 and 3 and the radius of these three edges is supposed to be given as 5 mm accept preview finish. Now you can see the sketch over here but here you can see this round is given while giving this round please do not give the round here we have to give only 1, 2 and 3 rounds. Please neglect this round because this portion is going to be positioned on the top portion of a body over here. If it is going to be rounded, there will be a gap here. To avoid that, we should not give this round over there. Then, let us go for a command called hole. Then let me select the top portion that is called as phase of protrusion 1. Let me select that one. Then, we have a command called hole options. We have a command called whole options. Let us go for whole option. Now in the whole option I wanted to create a threaded hole. Now the diameter of a thread hole is 38 mm and here let us go for TR38 into 7 because we don't have square hole. Now here this is called as thread depth. Now you can see the black colored line indicates it is a depth of a thread and this blue color line indicates it is a two hole extent that is the hole is going to be made completely inside the solid but out of which only this portion is going to be threaded now, as per the sketch we want a, a complete thread let us go for two hole extent now you can see the changes which is happening here then let us say ok then it should be positioned at the center properly then say return and give the direction towards the bottom then say finish then this completes our required component number 2 that is called as nut of a screw jack let us go for a save command in the summary in the title mention it as nut then say ok it should be saved in the same folder of a screw jack once again let me give the name of the file as nut then let me save this this completes the construction of the second part. 